I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. He loves you. I'm calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. We're
Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Find a way. Find him. Don't pull the door before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many. Where is he? Where is he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's eyes and she seems to in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The world once seemed so simple, black and white, darkness and light, narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glue. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Not in this world. No, not in this world. Anyway, you can't. You can't. He's the reason she's alive at all. You are guilty. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm. Whatever they do, the gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Meeting him beneath the tree.
reason she's still alive. Senwa, you've got it. Do you remember him whispering in your ear? Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you. Do you remember how he made you feel? Do you know? Was it worth it? You were still alive and Dillian was dead. goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. Yes, 
years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zimbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Your curse has claimed Dillian. Poor Dillian. He didn't know he was kind. He believed you. could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giant head. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Do you remember how he made you feel? Do you remember what love feels like? She thought she knew best. 
Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giant S they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giant S must have been Loki in disguise. Sand? Would 
you give up the beautiful world. You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this is not? With the sword. What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a test. You've been fooled before.